About that time to check in on where gas prices stand, not just across the country, but right here at home in the Beehive State. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded $4.31. That's down a full cent for those of you keeping track from yesterday, but almost 15 cents up from this time last week. Utah's average cost of gas now above that national average, $4.35 a gallon. Salt Lake City's average gas price, $4.32. I feel like I got a steal today at $4.29. Uh, you did, Brian. Oh, my. Yeah, it's so tough to see Utah's average higher than the, the national average. It's a rare thing, right? I think it's common to think Utah's a great place to uh -huh. live and it's economically friendly. Times to are residents. changing, too. They are changing. A Lyft, one of the major ride sharing companies, is adding a surcharge now on fares and deliveries in the U.S. US along with Canada. Well, this follows that similar move last week by Uber. Fox 13 News reporter Eliana Sheriff spoke with rideshare drivers to find out if this is making a difference. Uber drivers that I spoke with today say if prices at the pump continue to climb, they don't think it's going to be worth it to drive. And when it raises a dollar a gallon real quick, you're just kind of like, oh. <laughs> It's, it's been extremely difficult uh, making money with the gas prices. Molly and Bryson, both and Uber drivers, love the, the flexibility yeah. of the job. Bryson does it part-time on top of his job as a choir teacher. My Uber money is my extra money that I make, and that's anything from groceries to going out with our kids. And Molly says it allows her more time with her son since she can work while he's at school. And when he has a day off, I can just take a day off. I don't have to schedule it with anybody. But over the past two weeks, they've notice they're not taking home as much as usual. Probably about 30% of my of my earnings are gone. It used to be I'd pay about a fifth of my paycheck in gasoline. Now it's closer to a third. They say if this trend continues at the pump, they might have to find another way to pay the bills. It has definitely discouraged me a couple times this month where I'm like, there's there's no point of going out if I'm just going to break even. Still worth it so far if it raises more than probably somewhere in between a quarter and 50 cents more, I probably won't be able to do it just because I'll be paying to drive. Rideshare companies are trying to counteract the spikes at the gas station by implementing a small surcharge. Rides will cost an additional 45 to 55 cents per trip and delivery orders will cost an extra 35 to 45 cents depending on the market. Customers will see the surcharge even if their driver has an electric vehicle. It's nice, but at the same time, I don't know that it's going to cover if it raises too much more. I, I don't think it's very helpful. If it was maybe more for longer trips, that would maybe help. But I mean, if you do an hour long drive, you get an extra 55 cents. Not very helpful. Now the extra fee for Uber is temporary. It's expected to last though for at least two months. In Lehigh, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah. And to add to that, Uber customers will begin seeing the surcharge tomorrow. Now Lyft did not specify how much extra passengers will pay or when the surcharge will actually go into effect. More details are expected to be released shortly, which is according to the company. Fox 13 News is trying to help you keep tabs on gas prices in your neighborhood. Sounds like we need to know your station, Brian, because you got a deal at 420... 429, three cents below our... There you go. Average, yeah, right? Yeah, save, what a deal. save your pennies. Grab your phone right now, scan that QR code on your screen. That will take you to a special page on our website, fox13now.com, showing you the current gas prices right in your own neighborhood.